So now in this video, we want to add a comment. And the way it works is like this. I have an expense level. Let's say if I buy an item for zero, it is like I get no comment. Anything above five uh, euros, it's very low. Above 10 euros, it's low and so on. So when I buy an item, it's like above 50, it's high and anything above 100 is very high. And these comments are supposed to come here. So basically, let's do, let's do the first one manually. The first one is like the total cost is two euro. So basically, item level would be between zero and five. So it should uh, uh, that thing should appear here. All right. And uh, the apples, they have a total cost of 840. So basically, that should appear as very low. Okay. Now, that is again a lookup. However, in this case, with a slight difference. Now, let me do a lookup. Let, let's do a lookup equal v lookup. Now, what are we trying to look up? Not bread anymore. We're trying to look up our costs because uh, let me get out of this first. <clears throat> Remember, always the first column in your data table is always the item you're trying to look up. In this in, in this table, it's expenses. So basically, this is going to be my lookup. In that table from the previous video, we had this as the first column. So basically, our items were the lookups in that case. Now, here in columns, it's our price. So equal V lookup. Open uh, parentheses. It's the cost. So it's E2. Semicolon. I go over to my item levels and select. And in my case, because I'm using OpenOffice or LibreOffice, I just do that manually. And don't forget to fix that so it doesn't change when dragging or copying the formula down. Now, in which column is my comment? It's in column two, so two. And now here we come. Now, sorting order is one. Okay, and there we go. All right, just as we expected. Now, let me do a third example, and I'm gonna to explain to you. Let me take, let me take a beer. Beer, and I'm gonna get 50. Let me drag it down to 30. There you go, okay? Now, you can see how it works. Now, what is this thing one and why is it here zero, this sorting order? Well, it's like this. With item level, these points specify a range. So basically, if you look, I have this price, 198. This price isn't, any, isn't here. I only got zero and five. So if you have a table like that, which only specifies the ranges, then you have to use one in your sorting order. Okay, and, and the data table has to be sorted upwards. You see here, it's sorted upwards. Whereas in this table, it doesn't matter where you put in anything. It doesn't have to be sorted because each item that I shop is listed here. If it's not, I'm supposed to get, let's say here, peer. If this item is not listed in my data sheet, so I get this error, okay? So this data sheet does not specify a range, but it is supposed, or it specifies each item that I shop. That's why any uh, lookups using that data table all have here in the sort uh, thing zero or false okay same same case here now with the costs it's a totally different issue i cannot possibly list all the costs that i'm going to incur okay so that's why what i do i do a, a table of ranges like i did here and in that case i have to sort my table according to my expenses 
and in my lookup I have to do a one or true that's the whole difference so the question is how is your data uh, table organized the, does it list ranges then you have to use one or true if if it's supposed to list each element then uh, you have a you put input a zero okay that's the only that's the whole thing or the difference between zero and one okay i hope that's clear for everybody